Mr. President, recent developments in Syria seem to reinforce the feeling of helplessness in front of an endless human tragedy caused by the continuation of the conflict and its disrespect of human rights and international humanitarian law. The findings of the International Commission are more than alarming. On the other hand, some bright spots, in particular the negotiations that started this week, should push all people of goodwill not to give up to minimize this humanitarian and political tragedy. The Holy See would like to give its support to the recently negotiated ceasefire accepted by the majority of parties involved in the conflict. Regional and international contributions are indispensable and they should be thoroughly devoted to the interest of the Syrian people. Any approach attempting to defend regional or international interests without taking into account the unbearable human suffering is unethical and will only be counterproductive, prolong the conflict, and will have serious consequences for the region and the world. All parties involved are called to look on the long-term interests of the entire region and primarily the real interest of Syria. The UN in the first place has an encouraging and facilitating role. Any solution must be based on the rule of law, justice, freedom, and respect for human rights. A crucial dimension in the peace-building process is respect for a pluralistic society where ethnic, linguistic, and religious minorities have their place as full members of society and the Syrian state. The recognition of their rights does not weaken the state, rather it enriches and strengthens it. In this sense, the return of refugees and IDPs is an essential condition for reconciliation, reconstruction, and sustainability. It is urgent to begin immediately the delivery of humanitarian assistance to the population in need and to remove all obstacles so that humanitarian organizations can have access to all areas. Without the protection of civilians, there cannot be a just political solution. Special care should be given to the weakest groups of society. In conclusion, I would like to recall the words of Pope Francis, and I quote, I have received with hope the news of the cessation of hostilities in Syria, and I invite everyone to pray that this break may bring relief to the suffering population and open the path to dialogue and to the peace that is so desired. Thank you, Mr. President.